Hey there fellow raver and welcome back to another episode of the Rave Tour series. In this episode, I'll be taking you on a tour of all the exciting things to see and do at EDC Las Vegas. I'll guide you through the various areas to explore, highlighting the activities, art installations, and rides you can enjoy throughout your EDC weekend. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Here we share tours, tips, and guides to make your festival experience unforgettable. Whether you're a first timer or a seasoned pro, if you're into rave guides and life hacks, don't forget to subscribe and join the Rave Tour Guide community. EDC Las Vegas is the largest rave in North America with 525,000 attendees in 2024. Held at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the event includes a massive on-site camping experience known as Camp EDC. I've been attending EDC Las Vegas since 2012 and it holds a special place in my heart. For me, it's like an annual retreat where I can celebrate, dance, and reflect on where I've been and what's next. Along the way, I've met some incredible people, perhaps even you. I hope you enjoy this tour and I look forward to seeing you at EDC 2025. Kick things off with a quick look at the 2024 main stage, the iconic Kinetic Cathedral. This is by far my favorite stage of all time, featuring the return of the cathedral from 2014. The different stained windows featured a main stage from a previous year at EDC, and the cathedral featured a beautiful organ display that also used inflatables. Here's a look at the stage from the viewing decks in VIP. From the viewing deck, you get a good idea of just how large the entire dance floor really is. You can also see how large the VIP dance floor is. And here in the VIP, you can go straight to the front railing as well. And on the west side of Kinetic Field is the marquee sky deck with its different tiered tables. Now let's go check out the different lands scattered throughout EDC, located in the middle of the festival grounds, downtown EDC. Here you'll find the free commitment deck to pledge your love to your festi besti. You could also participate in the blind date shows with different showings throughout the day. And did you know you can get legally married at EDC Las Vegas? This is the Wedding Chapel of Nature, one of two different chapels to choose from. In its second year at downtown EDC, we also have the Candy Casino where you can win prizes like candy playing casino style games. I thought the lines would take too long so I passed on this, however, some viewers have shared the line moved really quickly taking maybe 15 to 20 minutes. After the Candy Casino, you can go watch a drag show at the Queen or if disco is more your style, you can check out the 70s disco. Take off your disco shoes and get your cowboy boots on because we're going to the Yeedy C Country Saloon featuring Yeedy M. This space is small but intimate and it has a bigger dance floor than the disco. Be sure to check out downtown EDC throughout the weekend and check out the different experiences. Ready for an upper? Let's grab a nice latte at the House of Duncan. Being in the coffee industry, I was so stoked for this. Coffee. coffee at EDC? Yes, please. You can enjoy this cool experience with caramel cold brew martinis, free samples of coffee and munchkins, multiple photo ops, and of course, its own stage. After grabbing that ice latte, let's head over to Daisy Fields and walk through the flower tunnel towards the garden. Flower Tower here at Daisy Fields is a great place to hang out if you're feeling chilly 
and there's so much room to sit down and rest in between sets. It also makes for a good meeting spot for you and your friends throughout the weekend. Let's go check out the Blacklight stage here at Daisy Fields. And here's a look at the same stage from 2023. Which one do you like better? Let us know in the comments. The next land we'll visit has some really cool art installations as well as an art car. Let's make our way to Pixel Forest. Pixel Forest is a great place to hang out with so many different art installations and places to sit and chill. This monolith is known as the Lucid Portal, a new addition to the Pixel Forest in 2024. Pixel Forest is a digital wonderland with thousands of LED lights, and here's another piece amongst it all, Geist. You can even play arcade games over here with your friends. This one is called Emergence and was full of ravers enjoying themselves and taking pictures. Pixel Forest is located near circuit grounds and makes for a great place to rest, eat, and meet with friends near this part of the speedway. Here's a look at one more art installation before we go check out the Rhinobus art car playing music you can hear throughout Pixel Forest. From Digital Wonderland to Mad Max vibes, let's make our way to No Man's Land full of rusty metal and fire. This tunnel to No Man's Land is new and I recommend using it during peak hours to avoid choke points nearby. No Man's Land is near Base Pod and Wasteland and has plenty of space to hang out and tables to eat at. You'll also find the Spire of Fire here keeping the area toasty throughout the night. Here's a video of it firing away in 2023. This land is a lot bigger than Pixel Forest and is more spread out. There are different art installations and a few different activities as well. And here's a quick look at Nomad's Alley that leads straight to Base Pod. Now let's go check out Base Pod and its new location on the south side of the speedway. This was definitely the right move and allows for a much larger capacity than years prior. If you are a returning EDC veteran, let me know what you think of the new location and size in the comments below. Here's another art piece, Chasm, from Daniel Popper. And this is the brass ring featuring the finale from our Salvage City Supper Club experience. It's the only place featuring seated dining service and a private show at EDC Las Vegas. For an in-depth look, I'll leave a link to a separate video in the description box. Also at No Man's Land is one of four GA and GA Plus restroom stations in the entire festival. The last spot we'll check out here is the Love Machine Emporium. I really enjoyed this art installation because it had different pieces of art that you could interact with. Each one guides you with a few phrases or instructions. Let's take a look at some of the different pieces. In 2024, No Man's Land featured a new stage, the Meta Phoenix Art Car, featuring acts like Culture Shock and Arm and & Hammer. And for the last themed land in EDC Las Vegas, we'll go check out the Bamboo DNA area near the south side of Cosmic Meadow. This is a great place to hang out and rest while still being able to hear the music from Cosmic Meadow. There's a lot of places to sit and chill in between all of your EDC activities. Let's go walk around and check it out.
For an added bonus, I'm also going to give you a tour of some of the different activations scattered across the speedway. Here's the exclusive Verizon viewing deck at Stereo Bloom. If you're a Verizon wireless customer, be sure to sign up via the Verizon app to get access. This platform will be really nice, especially during peak time when the dance floor fills up. Here we have the ghost activation with a slide and drinks for purchase. Grab a ghost energy to keep you going through the night. Next up is the geek bar for those who enjoy vaping. And this is the sky activation from 2023, which had a viewing deck, a bar, and a few carnival games. Then we have the beatbox truck, where you can grab your favorite beatbox and even get airbrushed. With your beatbox in hand, take a walk through the Rainbow Bazaar for some retail therapy. Buy yourself a fan, or maybe some critter clips. Or, if you want to skip the merch line, buy your sweaters here. Here are a couple more fun things you can do at EDC Las Vegas, starting with the water maze in the Kinetic Field VIP area. This was fun and definitely cooled me down a little bit. And of course, you can catch the fireworks every day at EDC. This was day three and we watched it from the bleachers for a bird's eye view of the festival and the fireworks. For all you thrill seekers, I'll wrap up by showing you some of the epic rides you can enjoy at EDC. There's something here for everyone from high speed roller coasters to ferris wheels with stunning views. Well fellow ravers, I hope this video gave you a taste of everything you can experience at EDC Las Vegas. Remember, take time to recharge and make the most of each unique area throughout the weekend. Share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see in the future videos. Until next time, bye for now.